Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. This is Connie coming on to share with you what I hope will be a successful project. Um, I'm making a gift card holder for Christmas. I saw the mouse in envelope file and little scraps of heaven designs. And I thought, oh, I think I can make that into a gift card holder. So I'm going to share with you the basic parts of it that I'm working out so far. And again, this is a trial and error, so kind of a work in progress here. But what I did, I'm going to move the mouse out of the way because I had to kind of assemble just a few of the pieces to make sure everything would work. But I'll explain what I did here. So this is the was originally the rectangle and one of these pieces, the top flap. And so what I did is I just, in Cricut Design Space, I welded the rectangle and I welded one flap together. And you will need to, before you weld that, you will need to have two additional flap pieces if you wish to do what I'm doing. And because it is, I embossed my um, pieces and I was looking, oh, I had to clean my embossing folder. I used the, um, it's a Sizzix, it's from Stampin' Up, it's like a quilted embossing folder it looks like. And I didn't want to just try to do the back piece itself, okay? So I did a separate piece, I will be gluing that down. But then you, you already have this piece for the bottom. Well, I wanted to create an actual envelope that the gift card can fit, fit into, so that's why I created this back piece. So again, you have your back, you have your initial rectangle from the file, you have one flap piece. Actually, I take that back, you have two flap pieces, so you only have to create one more. So sorry about that. So I'll, I'll total, you're going to have the rectangle, two flaps, one additional flap, and your two side pieces. One rectangle, one flap, welded together. And then when I assemble everything as the photo shows it in design space, okay? When I did that, I got measurements of width, all assembled, 3.77 inches wide by 3.781 inches high. That includes the little part of the ear that's going to be sticking over. So it's not just your base piece, okay? I just want to clarify that. And <clears throat> so like I said, I assembled my mouse, did not put the tail on because that's going to go in a little bit separate for me. Um, I used glitter paper for the hat, two pieces, and then I used a different color of printed paper instead of the red for the hat there. So just to give you an idea, put those little whiskers in. Uh, my holly, I did use a stylus and I just made the markings and then I put the uh, green with a uh, marker in there. I will be adding glitter glue, Nouveau glitter drops to my holly and also and I'll show a finished uh, photo of this I will be putting in each of these little tufts on the like the quilting area I will be using some liquid pearls on that so um, I will show a finished picture but that takes a good 24 hours to dry so I'm not going to do that obviously during the video it'll take me a lot while to uh, to do that excuse my reach there so the very first thing I want to do is put, I marked that at the bottom for a reason. I didn't ink the bottom of the top flap, but I want to put my top flap on. And just putting glue on this. I'm really hoping this works. I love to create gift card holders other than the ones that designers have already created. 
I like to do things different for myself. You know, you, you guys know that, so. Okay, so I'm just lining this up. And yes, it has a little bit of red. That's why I had to clean the embossing folder and, you know, but it's for my family. They're not, they're going to throw it away anyway. Normally I would redo the whole thing, but yeah, not going to happen this time. Okay, on my two pieces, if you notice, there is a more of a curved top and then a straight edge side here. The curved piece goes to the top. Okay. Now, on the two side pieces, I'm only gluing along the long straight edge that's going in along the edge of here. So I need to get, whoops, uh, my other glue. Like I said, not a clue what I'm doing. I This is how I create these. I just trial and error. You know, I did it all in design space. It seemed like it worked. And when I kind of put it together, uh, it seemed to work, but great. We'll see. Now, it's not my goal to have my flap fold in. Okay, I, I just want to also clarify that. It's meant to stay up. These are going to be going in little cellophane bags that I will close and either make a little topper for or just put a little uh, tag on the back with their name or something. I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but if that's your goal, these probably won't work for you very well. Um, unless you make a separate envelope for them or don't put the separate flap on. I mean, you can do that and just put a score mark in that it folds back, but I don't normally do that so get this now I'm going to take my I gotta get some paper underneath of there let's see if I can find a scissors close by it's there um, I'll show you in a moment what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Not too far off. Not worried about the top and it's the width that I'm... I want to get a piece of glue, a piece, excuse me, a piece of paper under here. So when I glue this down, I don't glue it to the back piece here. So what I'm doing is my bottom flap I'm going to glue along all three sides because it's going to go down like this. But I don't want it to risk gluing to the back base. So I'm hoping this is making sense. In my mind it is. You know, it's like it's going to work. Um, we'll see. And I think if I can find it back, I had a size of a gift card. Cut on paper. I don't have any. And it fit fine, but then once you glue it, you know, it always didn't want that. Um, let's see. I would show you my desk, but my work surface, but uh, it's a sad situation today. It normally is, but it's worse than normal. Make sure on the back that that's straight there. Okay. I'm going to come back and leave that for a moment. Let it dry. Oh, let's see. I have it. Okay. Um, let's try this. I'll come back and get that out. The adhesive is bugging me. So, 
yeah that's a little bit of a tight fit but once the glue dries it loosens up you know so it's just is this size this black is the size of a gift card so it will fit fine like I said it's just make sure it's a very thin bead of glue or you're gonna have to uh, make your envelope a little bit bigger okay so putting this back in while I glue my mouse together and on there because I do not want the mouse being glued down anywhere so and excuse my voice today I woke up with some nasty allergies so or very congested and tis the season right You could pop some of this up if you want. Again, it's uh, a gift card for my family. I'm not going to get that carried away, so to speak. It might be easier to put these down after I had put the white liquid pearls, but then I would have to use uh, foam tape to add for the dimension there so that's why I'm putting these on first and I apologize I keep bumping the uh, camera it's okay I'm only putting glue on just a part of it I don't want to I'm going to put these off a little bit up and I don't want it glue on the back so finding a piece of well my, I've got an old old shirt on that will not too much glue on there work okay the tail actually does get stuck behind here I don't want to put it on quite yet and it'll get glued just to the side here I don't want to put it on yet because I want to make sure I know where his head's going so I think it's gonna work out you guys I'm quite happy everyone saw a plan does work so I'm just putting a little bit of glue here Putting it behind this one holly berry bit. And I'll get that tail on in a moment. So I'm going to put the tail. A little glue here. If I can get this to work now. And I'm just sticking it like that. And then I will glue this little piece back here. I kind of see where I needed to put glue though. And it will be much nicer once I get the uh, the little dots on it adds a lot you could put a little sentiment here which I might stamp something and put that on there I really think that um, I think I've got some little Merry Christmas stamps or something I can put or Happy Holidays but I'm quite happy that I think this is going to be kind of cute turned out kind of fun so like I said I will share the finished photo when I'm done Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day, everybody. Take care.